Yeah, I know. I saw. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, uh, so, so, we got to go. Uh, I love you too, bye. Oh, well, sorry, I didn't know y'all would be uh, coming by this late. Oh, my goodness. But, uh, since you're here, I guess I uh, better start explicating. Damn, uh, talking about Beowulf and, uh, what is the f first of many explications? And, uh, Beowulf is an epic tale, which is, uh, from, uh, Old English, like Anglo-Saxon times in England. It's the, uh, oldest surviving poem in Old English. And it's, uh, newly translated by, uh, Seamus Henney. It's kind of like, a it's kind of like iconic in English literature. And I'm, uh, talking about the, uh, fight between Beowulf and Grendel. So Grendel's like this demonic creature that's always ta uh, attacked Herod and Herod or whatever. And, uh, always devours and kills all these men from this one tribe until they fled. And then Beowulf and his men spend the night there, like, as they're on their journey. And Grendel comes in and attacks the hall whenever they're sleeping. And, uh, Grendel's, like, eating one of his men, and then, uh, while they're, like, all asleep, and then Beowulf, just, like, comes out, like, attacks Grendel, and they start battling. And Beowulf, like, <coughs> Beowulf's, like, all those guys are, like, getting ready to help them fight, but, uh, they can't because the Grendel's huge, and, uh, until Beowulf ultimately defeats Grendel. And then uh, Grendel goes and dies. Or he's, yeah, he dies. And uh, yeah, and the point of this is just like, no matter how big and bad something is, the hero is always going to win.